You are watching the Road to Full Stack Development series. I am your host, Franklin, and today in the series at Code Crafting, we are covering a pretty simple set of principles. We are covering DRY, other known as DRY. We are covering KISS and YAGNI. Now, before we dive into those principles, we're not going to spend a ton of time on them. It's pretty straightforward. I did want to make a couple of suggestions on books to read. This is the first time I've ever actually recommended resources that were specific to uh, books. And I think that these are important resources that will make you a greater programmer. The first resource is by Robert C. Martin, and it is called Clean Code. It is a handbook of agile software craftsmanship. And this book is a handbook. Definitely get your hands on this. I'm telling you, you're not gonna regret it. This is a purchase that you should get, whether you put it on your paper, uh, Kindle paper, or get the physical copy like I have, you should definitely get that book. The second book is a more known book, but I'm still going to throw it out here, uh, out in this video in case you are new to programming. And this is called The Pragmatic Programmer by Andrew Hunt and David Thomas from Journeyman to Master. So these two books, definitely get them into your hands. If you can't afford the Pragmatic Programmer or the Clean or clean Code, you should be able to still look online and get uh, at least a cheat sheet of all of the principles from each chapter and try to adhere to them as much as possible in your road of uh, becoming a developer. Before we discuss the three principles of development, I do want to bring up another new thing that maybe you are not familiar with. And what I want to discuss is pseudocode. To quote Wikipedia, pseudocode is an informal, high-level description of the operating principle of a computer program or other algorithm. It uses the structural conventions of a programming language, but is intended for human reading rather than machine reading. Basically, to boil that down, just write down the logic of your solution of a specific coding challenge or building a feature in plain old English. Pseudocode is a very important thing to learn as a new developer as it focuses on the block concepts that you are building with various programming languages as we learn programming languages later in this series. And ideally, you shouldn't have to worry about putting in the exact syntactic words for logic and reason. Instead, you should be trying to stick maybe to a particular syntax of programming languages as far as if I, this happens, do this. And so you should still try to, in your pseudocode, uh, correspond to a given language that you are solving the problem in. But ideally, pseudocode is how we can abstract programming into human language. And this is very helpful when adhering to these different principles to use pseudocode for these principles. We will not cover pseudocoding in great depth. I did just want to mention it for these three different principles simply because it is very helpful to adhere to these principles by using pseudocode. Let's cover each principle of software development in two minutes or less each so that we can keep this video concise. The first principle of development we are going to cover is DRY. DRY stands for don't repeat yourself. And the opposite of DRY would be adhering to another principle called WET. And WET stands for we enjoy typing. And it also could stand for write everything twice. Now that being said, we don't want to adhere to WET. We want to adhere to DRY. And DRY is a principle of software development that is aimed at reducing repetition of software patterns by replacing those repetitions or redundancy with abstractions or using data normalization to avoid that repetition or redundancy. In essence, don't repeat yourself in your code. Write your pseudocode and then review your pseudocode and see, is there anything here that I'm repeating myself? Maybe you're taking a bit of logic uh, and you're repeating it in another bit of logic and ideally you might be able to combine that into one function. And that brings me to my other point. The point of dry is the fundamental reason to the usage of variables and functions in programming. So as far as why we create things and declare them so that we can use them over and over and over again is so that we don't have to repeat the declaration. Now in some situations as we get into certain programming languages we will discuss that sometimes repeating yourself is a good thing for readability but ideally you should be knowing what you're doing and you shouldn't be repeating yourself simply because you're lazy or because you think you're going to go back and refactor it. Try to adhere to dry while you're programming and that can be supported by using pseudocode. Bugs love 
a wet mess. The next principle of software development that we will be adhering to when programming is the principle of KISS. KISS stands for keep it simple, stupid. A lot of people underestimate it. Oh, it's trivial. KISS, whatever. Yeah, I'll keep it simple. But when it comes down to it, simple code is actually helpful for maintainability in the future. Not only coming back into code that you've written and being able to quickly understand what is going on because of the simplicity and be able to either debug or add a feature or refactor. It is also beneficial for those around you who are going to review your code. Although you have plenty of advanced features in programming languages and libraries at your disposal, you shouldn't always reach for the most advanced or most complex solution. If there is a simple solution, use that. When I think of the KISS principle, I think of PEP20's mantra, the Zen of Python, in which I will now quote, Beautiful is better than ugly. Explicit is better than implicit. Simple is better than complex. Complex is better than complicated. Flat is better than nested. Sparse is better than dense. Readability counts. Special cases aren't special enough to break the rules. Although practicality beats purity, errors should never pass silently, unless explicitly silenced. In the fact of ambiguity, refuse the temptation to guess. There should be one, and preferably only one, obvious way to do it. Although that way may not be obvious at first unless you're Dutch, now is better than never. Although never is often better than right now, if the implementation is hard to explain, it's a bad idea. If the implementation is easy to explain, it may be a good idea. Namespaces are one honking great idea. Let's do more of those. That sums up the concept of KISS and programming, and I hope that you will adhere to it so that way you can benefit not only yourself and reviewing your own code later in the future, but benefiting others who are going to use and maintain that code as well. This brings us into our last principle of software development, YAGNI. YAGNI is behind the extreme programming practice of do the simplest thing that could possibly work, and it stands for you aren't going to need it. As devs, we tend to think of a project as a whole, and therefore we start to plan everything that we're going to need for it in the future and start importing in all sorts of libraries that we may need, when in reality we should take it slow, one step at a time, and not bring anything in that we aren't going to use. This is really common in the beginning for new developers who are scaffolding new projects and start going package crazy or library crazy. They start bringing in tons of different tooling, maybe even to just solve a specific niche problem problem that could probably be solved with one piece of code written by themselves versus bringing in a whole library to use one small feature of that library to solve their problem or create their feature. In my experience as a developer, in the very beginning of programming, I tended to go crazy on packages when scaffolding new projects. I would just import in a bunch of stuff. Oh, I'm going to use this. I'm going to use this. I'm going to use this. And in reality, I ended up only using a fraction of all of that. And a lot of times I would end up being able to do it myself and save myself time, not have to worry about maintainability of those packages packages from those different developers or communities, and instead be able to maintain it myself. Yagni is for you aren't going to need it. There are packages and libraries that are maintained, and you are going to need them for your projects. So this is more applicable to weighing out the decision of whether you're going to need something or not, and that's a big decision. Ideally, even if you're going to need it in the future, and you can see it and look in the future and see that you're going to need that package, you should still take a step back and think, I don't need that right now, so I'm not going to use it right now. The better solution is to think of how I can solve what I need with this particular problem. And there you have it. We covered dry, KISS, and YAGNI software development principles to apply in our programming, as well as a brief covering of pseudocode. Thank you for watching. I hope this is helpful for you and that you will apply it into your programming. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Please like, please subscribe as well. Once we hit 100 subscribers, we can actually get a custom URL. I thank you for your time, and I'll see you guys in the next one.